am an Amazon affiliate member. I purchased this tripod on my own. It was not sent to me by MacTrim. I am not being paid by MacTrim. There are links below in this video to the products I've purchased on my own. Thank you. Buying equipment for the first time can sometimes make you feel like you're moving in the wrong direction. But if you work with it and give it some time, your images will usually be better in the end. Hi, my name is Will and this is foothillfilms.com. I'm a photographer based in Nampa, Idaho. If you need footage or detailed images of anything in this region, contact me and we can work something out. Are you looking for a budget-friendly tripod that is easier to take on day trips? Are you looking to expand your photography and your videography skills? Are you looking for a tripod that does this with as few compromises as possible? Look no further than the Mac Trim BT80. And if you watch this video until the end, I'll show you some of the secret weapons of this tripod. Now, tripods and flash systems seem to be an arena that a lot of beginner tri um, that a lot of beginner photographers and videographers don't want to venture into. But this may be just a matter of perspective, maybe some misplaced perspective. Now, this particular tripod is being rebranded by other manufacturers and other manufacturers and sold for more money. Because of its size and weight, its level position, and its leg attachment mechanism, I like this tripod the best. This is more of a photo. <laughs> This is more of a photocentric tripod than it is a video tripod. That being said, the panning ability, the smooth panning ability of this tripod head makes it punch way higher than its uh, price point. It has rubber feet for indoor and outdoor use. There are three knobs on this ball head. There is a dial on the left for panning, and there's a dial on the right side that controls the ball. Right in the center, there's a red dial that locks the panning motion. Now I use this tripod for recording video also. This was shot in Lincoln City, Oregon. It was shot on a tripod to smooth out the video. Now I use this tripod also for doing my panoramas. It, it makes stitching high megapixel images much, much more reliable. And I think it actually makes it easier these images right here are um, high definition panoramas that are very, very, very zoom inable, <laughs> if that's a word. Now, this tripod does have a couple tricks of its up its sleeve, and one of those tricks is that it shoots as a it converts to a monopod with just a few quick, um, you know, removes here and screws there. You can turn this tripod into a monopod. It makes it much lighter, much easier to take with you on uh, hikes and um, then you can still get good stable footage and good stable shots especially in low light and another thing it does it, it shoots in underslung mode you can take out the center brace turn it upside down and it's great for shooting uh, macro you want to get really close to something on the ground like this dead crab uh, there you go thank you for watching this tripod review of the mac trim bt80 and now I have a question for you. What did I miss? I'd like to hear from you in the comment section below. Is there anything that you wanted to know about a beginning tripod that I didn't answer? Is there a particular tripod or another piece of equipment that you want to see me review? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you. And this is Will from Foothill Films saying, see you next time.